Hello everybody. Oh, it's a lazy Saturday afternoon. I'm just in from the flea market. You know, there's been something that I know I needed to do for a while. And uh, I want you all to think about this with me for a minute. You know how there's those special people in your life. You've, you've been friends forever. Uh, you learned a lot from them. They've, they've helped you out. Whatever it is, that, that, that one person that really just always stands out in your mind. Uh, you keep pulling reminders of things from your experiences with them. And you don't take the time to call them because you know you can get away with not calling them. Uh, but whenever you do, they're there and you always have good chats. And I mean real good friends. Somebody you don't doubt at all in the world. Well, that person to me is Billy Fair. Spelled with a P-H. Billy and I have been friends for over 20 years. We haven't seen each other in the last few years. But we talk every three or four months or something. Which is not nearly enough. But I gotta take the time to tell Billy Fair, who lives on his piece of land without power, lives off grid. Um, but don't worry, this video will get to him. Billy gets out. And we have a lot of friends in common. But I gotta tell you, Billy Fair, I've learned a lot from you over the years. More than I can tell. And for, for my YouTubers and other people that see this, Billy and I have worked uh, grueling hours, things most men wouldn't do. We've worked at sea together, in the carpentry business together, in the uh, just general labor because no one else would do it or knew how to do it. And I always learn from Billy. Uh, we're both 110 miles an hour. He's closer to 100 and a half. So we'd bump heads now and then, but we always remain friends. And uh, we always work together just to get it done. Um, not a lot of arguments. Billy Fair twice in his life won uh, $100,000 before taxes on scratch tickets. I've seen this man take probably close to 40% of what he earned and just give it away to help people. Uh, I've never seen him be greedy. I mean, we've been to the point that we were scraping pennies together to get enough gas to finish the job to get paid just that close to the bone. And we always pushed on, we always got through it. And I still draw her on Billy Fair, even, of, even as of two days ago, when I decided that I needed to do this video, it was because I didn't have my belt. Now let me tell you something about Billy Fair you don't know. He's a genius. Absolute genius. If you looked at him, you'd probably pass him by, unless he stopped you to talk to you, because he talks to everybody. He's everybody's friend. That's one thing I learned from Billy Fair, too. Try to be everybody's friend let things go sometimes. But the one thing Billy could never get me to do is to change my belt. No, never change my belt. I like a leather belt. Well, up until two days ago. Now keep in mind, I've been friends with this man for 20 years. Well, Billy Fair, I finally did it. I couldn't find my belt. So, I took your advice. 20 years or more, and I've got the rope belt. Now, a lot of you probably think that's pretty hillbilly-ish and pretty simple and pretty foolish, but for years I heard Billy Fair say, it never gets loose, it's always tight, the holes don't ever stretch out, and you always got a piece of rope when you need it. And quite honestly, I thought it was the most ridiculous thing, but in 20 years' time, I think I've only known Billy to have three pieces of rope. <laughs> How many belts have you had? So Billy Fair, still learning, still stubborn, still love you. Much love, Bill. I'm not sure when you get this video, but give Lisa a big hug and those boys of yours and everybody back home. I'll see you sometime.